who you are is who you will attract. A lot of people are like, oh, men aren't nothing, females aren't nothing, da 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 That's because they're attracting those type of people into their life. What is up and what is up? <laughs> Okay, y'all. So it is time to start this whole transformation. Get ready with me. Talk, chit chat, all that stuff. Life update, y'all. I got it all. I want to apologize for the lighting. Like, the weather was just not cooperating with me today, and I need to get this video filmed today. So, like, no excuses. And, like, it's literally dark outside, and it's 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m., y'all. That's how you know fall's coming. Okay, fall's coming. But yes, y'all, we're going to start my makeup. And I want to tell you, I do not use fancy products. This is all drugstore makeup that I'm going to be showing y'all that I'm using while we're getting ready. Yes, all of it. Y'all know me. I'm a baddie on a budget here. I put on my Instagram story, y'all. I was like, listen, what's up with it? Let me know what's going on. Ask me some questions. I feel like I have not really sat down and talked to y'all. Like, I do vlogs and stuff, but, like, I have not life updated y'all in so long. So that's what we're going to do today. But I'm going to be talking and doing my makeup at the same time. I'm honestly just getting ready to promote some stuff. So I'm not going to go like crazy on the makeup. My makeup usually is at a bare minimum on a daily, you know, as it is. But I want to do a little something because you girls look crazy right now. Y'all going to think I'm crazy for the way I do my eyebrows. But just like trust the process. This is the fastest way to do my eyebrows. Because my eyebrows have a perfect shape but they're just so light. So watch. So I get this question a lot. It's how do you start slash stick to healthy habits like journaling, working out, praying, etc. So basically, how to be productive. That's the question here. Now watch what I do to get these eyebrows to be, you know, on point. How about y'all? Because I can't even talk while doing it because you gotta be concentrated. Finesse, finesse. Okay, watch the shady one. Watch the shady one. I don't know what this thing is, but I picked it up at the drugstore one day and I fell in love with this eyebrow product like I don't know something about it it's just so easy and convenient but back to the question at hand here y'all how are you how are you productive Maya people ask me that all the time how are you productive how are you always on go it's because I schedule and prioritize my days that's what it comes down to y'all I know like we want the perfect formula you know the hack on how to be productive or the hack on how to be successful like there is no hack like it's a matter of getting things done prioritizing things that have value and add value to your life and getting them done above all like there's always going to be that small voice in our head telling us to oh just take five more minutes to sleep oh you'll do it later constantly pushing things off and then you get overwhelmed because you're so backed up on stuff if you just get things done like for example I could either put a dish in the dishwasher right after I use it that way they won't accumulate but I can also just stack dishes in my sink and then by the end of the night I'm gonna be like overwhelmed with all these dishes so don't get to a point where you are getting overwhelmed by tasks do things little by little when they need to be done to prevent that you feel me <laughs> I might be looking down for a majority of the video, but it's because obviously I'm doing my makeup. Do y'all hear the thunder? Do y'all hear? I hear the thunder. I hear the thunder. I hear the thunder. I'm not having it, y'all. Like, I cannot stand when it rains. Like, okay, so, anyways, y'all. And if you guys ask, this is the Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand Beige. Okay. Sand Beige. So, the next question that I got is how do you get over insecurities in relationships? And basically, how to be the best you in a relationship? I'll never have the full answers to this question because in relationships you're continuing to grow you are continuing to discover who you are in a relationship and things like that so I won't have like the whole secret code to all this but what I know this far up until this point in my life is take accountability like if we are constantly putting the blame on somebody and just always saying we're not wrong and you take zero accountability that means you have no room for growth. You think that you have no room for growth. And everybody has room for growth. So in a relationship, I think a way to get over your insecurities is to recognize your insecurities. Find the root of your insecurities. Work towards bettering those insecurities and don't project. We do a lot of projecting in relationships instead of a lot of healing. So when two people come together, it should be two healed people, not two broken people trying to heal each other. You know, it kind of contradicts each other. So I'm doing a really natural light beat today. I don't want to do 
anything crazy. I am going to throw on some lashes from Pinko, this brand that I'm working with that I'm so excited. So stay tuned to see those lashes. But I'm just going to go ahead and buff this makeup into my skin. It actually is matching pretty good today, which is good. Okay, y'all. So while I was blending out my concealer with this brush, I look at my phone and I'm like, okay, it's not recording. So I just went on a whole rant, y'all, like a whole rant. But to sum it up, the question was, Maya, you look so much happier. Like, what changes? Like, what's the change? What What's changed in your life? And I'm like, everything. Like, <laughs> everything. I have been in a constant stage of growth and it makes me glow different it makes me look happier the, the work i'm doing in myself it shows on the outside the prayer shows girl the working out shows the reading more books just so much self-development and self-improvement that i've been doing yeah it shows up on the outside there's been lots of changes internally like how you're doing internally always gonna show itself on the outside like always no matter the circumstance so that's been the vibe. i have been just so blessed I have been reflecting a lot. I've been journaling. I have been listening to more podcasts. I've been putting down my phone more often and opting for a book or, you know, an audio book or something like that. Just being present. Like, I've been being present. I've been appreciating being present. That's been the vibe for me, y'all. I'm about to bronze my face lightly. Like I said, I don't want to go too much on the makeup. Y'all see, I got my Harriet Tubman head wrap on right now. To freedom, to freedom, okay. So, a common question and theme that keeps on coming up on my poll is about the relationship status like, what's going on? What's T sis? What's going on? As y'all know, in the beginning of the year, I did go through a breakup, and of course, with God, with prayer, with you know, just investment in myself. I've been able to heal from that situation and along my journey of healing, along my journey of self-improvement, the dude who I literally like did not think existed because this person in my head was just like, he's too good to be true type of situation. This dude just shows up in my life. Who you are is who you will attract. A lot of people are like, oh, Men aren't nothing, females aren't nothing, da 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 it, That's because they're attracting those type of people into their life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying every single person you attract is a reflection of yourself, but your partner? Your partner is definitely a reflection of yourself. When you really commit to this healing journey, like this, this self-improvement journey, the right people come into your life. Again, birds of a feather walk together here. Like, let's not forget it and let's not be oblivious to that statement, so. Yeah, I'm about to quickly, I'm just building up the foundation in my face. So we did like, you know, a little concealer. I'm about to pack on this blush real quick. This is the Fenty blush. I love it so much. Like I said, I'm excited because I'm pairing with this lash brand. And I'm bringing y'all some really beautiful lashes for this look. A little get ready with me look. So yeah, I'm about to blend out this blush. And then I want to show y'all these lashes before we do any lips or highlight. It's just the order I do my makeup. I don't know if it's weird. I feel like you always got to do your lips last. Even though they look real crusty right now. They need some color. Don't mind that, y'all. Because we like to look cute. So that's how I do my blush. Kind of just put it in the upward. With a little dab on the nose, okay? So the bomb lash company, Pink's Dio, reached out to me and wanted to send me some of their lashes. And I was like, of course. I love lashes. And I feel like I've never done like... A makeup video I've done some get ready with me's but I never really talk about the products I use I have the name of the brand on the screen and I'm also going to show you each pair of these lashes in depth up close from the camera but pink zeal has a whole bunch of cosmetic products on their website they have provided me with a coupon code for you to use to get some money off so make sure to look on the screen for that I'm gonna be showing you guys every single one of these lashes up close so you can really get a feel for how bomb their stuff is because y'all know I need to show y'all details and that first one is called My Precious. These mink lashes are so beautiful, so natural looking, so fluffy. 
I love that the band is not too thick or too thin because I don't like when it's extreme on either end of the spectrum. I really like that this is just like a natural everyday type of wear because I don't like lashes to be too dramatic, but I want you to know that I'm wearing them. You know what I mean? So the next one's called Lushy Luscious. <laughs> it's kind of a tongue twister. Now this is definitely more of a dramatic lash. I love that it's a little bit more full, but again, it's not too extreme. I feel like this is like definitely a date night type of vibe where you do want to be a little bit dramatic, but not over the top. So they did a really good job on this set of lashes. I love it. I think I honestly might wear these, but if we find one that we like more, we're going to switch. But these are really cute, y'all. Next is Fury Queen. Okay, it's giving full. This one is definitely more full, more thick, more in your face, which is bomb. I love it. I love that there's a lot of different lengths, so it's giving texture, it's giving fluffy, it's giving dramatic, it's giving everything that you need. Again, this is definitely more of like a date night type of vibe, something a little bit more dramatic. Love it, love it, love it. And lastly, we've got Runway Hit, okay? Runway Hit. She's coming at you real cute. Really reminding me of the last set of lashes that we just looked at. Again, it's more spiky, but I definitely would have to say that these are more natural than the other ones. These are mink lashes brought to you by Pink Zio. Make sure to check all my links below. Use my coupon code to get some money off and browse their website to see their selections. I think we're going to go with the second pair. The second pair that I saw and that would be, was it Luscious? Was it? Lushy Lucius. That's okay, that's what it's called. Yeah, we're gonna go with these ones. Let me pop these lashes on real quick, y'all. We need to put some color on these lips. We need some highlight. We're almost done with the face, but not really. So let me put these lashes on. Okay, Miss Pink Zio got the thing going on with these lashes. They are so soft and so comfortable. So again, like I said, I have a coupon code for y'all to use. I will never leave y'all hanging. So make sure to look for that because you need to purchase these. These are so beautiful, like, it's giving 100% mink, like they said. Like, they wasn't lying. Now, now I know the beauty supply be lying when they say 100% mink because these don't feel like any lashes I've ever used in my life. They're so soft. So, somebody said new hobbies. Like, what's new, basically, in general? So, I would say with me, I've definitely been reading. Like, I used to really like reading growing up, but then in high school, I really didn't. Like, it was just me in school. Like, it just made me... Stop liking reading but I've been getting back into reading and just appreciating the value of reading like y'all you can learn so much like that's what I'm saying you you can't tell me you can't do something because everything is usually right at our fingertips there's so much knowledge on the internet there's so much knowledge in books and around us and we have so many resources that we just forget about like we just forget about but I've been reading a lot and I'm gonna make a highlight on my Instagram follow my Instagram I'm gonna make a highlight on my Instagram of the books that I've been reading and just keeping y'all updated and stuff because y'all always ask me where I got my Bible from and stuff. So I also read some really good books in general, which I'll put on there too. I'm trying to build a lip color because I don't like how this is making me look. I don't got no lips, like. That's better. I love how this looks on the lips. Like in person, it actually looks really good. You know sometimes like matte lipstick make your lips look so dry and crusty like oh no but this one actually does look cute so it's not much i could do with these raggedy braids at the moment but i'm gonna try to do something i'm gonna try to do something so i'm gonna do my famous head wrap because i think it's so cute so let me just do a quick tutorial for y'all don't laugh neither if you laugh you racist like okay i'm back i feel like no matter how many hair ties i ever will buy in life they just continue to find their way into nowhere just disappear all the time. And I'm like, okay, at this point, somebody's stealing my hair ties. So here's what I'm gonna do real quick. Just put on a little bit of mousse, just a little something. Like I said, these are all grown out. These braids need to actually come out today, but I don't know, just by the way it's raining. <laughs> we coming up with any excuse. By the way it's raining, I might need to go to bed after this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a swoop bang with this one. Now you would need a hair tie to tie this to the bottom but I'm just going to literally tie it to a braid so just tie it somewhere in the back of your head ooh, ooh, ooh. okay okay perfect so all you do I'm trying to do this quick because my camera's about to die but flip your head over 
get all the hair, put this across, crisscross this, knot it, loop it around again. And voila. We're gonna wrap up this get ready with me real quick, y'all. Put y'all onto my favorite edge control first. Cause I don't gatekeep the uh, Ebon edge control. Y'all probably, probably already know it. The best edge control. So I'm about to slick my edges real quick. I'm gonna put on something cute and then I will come back to see y'all. Like let's wrap up this little Q&A. Life update, getting to talk to each other while I'm doing my makeup vibe. Like I'm gonna see y'all in a second. Okay y'all, so it's still thundering. But I went ahead, I just put a cute little basic top on, some hoops, you know, we did the hair, I feel like my top matches my lips, it's giving cute, love it, my watch, y'all. So this really is going to wrap it up for this get ready with me slash life update. I hope you learned something new about me, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to check those links in my description for these lashes, stay tuned by hitting my bell because I'm super consistent. And follow me on Instagram for my life day-to-day -day updates, okay? I <laughs> love y'all, and I'll see you next video. Bye! What is up and what is up?